Hello friends, uh, Vipin Nair here from Arviv Digital. So, welcome to today's show. Today we are going to talk about uh, 13 common on-feed SEO mistakes uh, to avoid for better ranking. So, <clears throat> I'm just going to cover some 13 uh, common practices which we use while uh, doing our, our on-page SEO. And uh, on-page SEO is basically done on on-page, like uh, on the website, on the website's each page. It's a very necessary, that's why it's known as on-page. So every page is very uh, necessary to be optimized for search engine so that search engine can better understand about that page and can get a better ranking on search engine. So let's start with the first point. Uh, first point is uh, uh, a lot of about content, uh, content duplications, long form content. Uh, but through our experience, what we have learned that uh, content should be is unique unique in the not the sense like you should go and copy another people's blog and refresh it and put into uh, your website and uh, that is also like you may have double like like putting a long content will going to help you like a thousand words two thousand three thousand five thousand words article if you are going to put if you are going to put on uh, that is going to help but what a personal we felt like a personal experience what we felt like that whenever we put some uh, research based content and that's the completely fresh content we have seen that our ranking has boosted so uh, the factor is that google is recognizing google is considering google is giving value to the fresh content so start making fresh content uh, it's not about the uh, too much length but it's like uh, depth content and uh, you should depth content with quality content and with uh, uh, not duplication not rephrasing can help you to uh, boost your ranking so don't uh, like uh, focus on publishing every day go for a month and focus to have uh, one or two this kind of article which is going to be helpful for uh, your audience so that's the tip number one you should not go for the uh, not focus only long long content and rephrasing content go for the quality for perspectives so that's the first one then second one is uh, uh, most of the time what happens when we start writing we ask our content writer to uh, content writer to put this keyword here put this keyword here so never do that actually you should go and first uh, frame the content uh, then you go and optimize that when uh, usually what happens the uh, main situation happens like every time we go and update our content uh, while writing like content writer writing based on the mind of the keyword they most of the time what they make is they just uh, uh, put so many times of that keywords and they repeat and uh, most of the times that become as an uh, words article so you need to focus on uh, optimizing it later on writing so don't focus the uh, first time like content writer needs to be optimized you need to focus that you need to optimize it after that so make sure that you optimize once it gets written completely by your uh, content writer so that's the tip number two third is uh, people fear about uh, putting external links to the other website most of the time it may be the your computer itself but uh, uh, as an experience or uh, the study shows that the page which links to the more uh, pages outside pages gets more value in the eyes of google this is a kind of trustworthy thing like if you uh, recommend someone or if you uh, reference thing what you have written google consider that you have done research and have put that content so that particular thing gets value in that particular session you need to understand that outbound link is important, very important and you need to find the relevant uh, uh, outbound link. It's not like uh, for the namesake we just connect to Wikipedia. You don't have to connect to Wikipedia. You need to be very focused. The best article in the market, maybe it's your computer. Don't hesitate to connect with them just because this outbound links it causes the relevancy all going to help you to boost your ranking. So you need to understand that. Uh, you need to have outbound link, not the outbound link itself, internal link also one of the most important factors. And internal links is the place where we can uh, play with the most of anchor text. We don't have to worry about uh, punishment, all those section internal links. So don't forget to have good set of internal links, internal links as well as outbound links. So most of the time we fail on this particular section, we avoid all these things. So try to focus on this particular point. The four, uh, fourth point is uh, formatting so 
make sure your content should be at least 14 pixel size so that people can read it on mobile and uh, it can be touchable on mobile it can be uh, with the images uh, because people don't have that much attention period the study shows that 80 percent we are users only skip the content they don't go and read it all and the eight second is the attention period for them so you need to mix your content with content as well as uh, images videos you can use embedding option you can embed content into that particular section you can embed things on that particular section so this can be going to help you uh, sticking your audience and that will increase the dwell time of your particular page and that is going to help you in ranking section so that's the tip number five and uh, so you need to understand that you can uh, focus on those things and uh, let's get into another point that is if you are an affiliate content you are writing an affiliate blog or you are linking back to an affiliate page where you are going to get some kind of profit of linking to that link you need to focus on that that link should be a uh, no follow so we have felt like that uh, uh, one of one of the clients who has like put it all the do follow links when we have changed all the do follow into no follow link what we have seen that the traffic has uh, increased for that particular time so what we felt like that uh, okay so google consider that if you putting do follow link to a uh, affiliate links google understand that you are making money out of it and you are passing value to that particular section also so google don't give that much value to your website so focus on this particular section uh, have all, all your affiliate links as a no follow link. Then the image. Image is one of the important section when uh, it comes to loading. Uh, if we uploaded the image, you should have a lot of image. That's the first thing. If you are going to have a lot of image, it may be going to cause you a loading issue. You need to focus on the uh, optimizing images. You should go and optimize, uh, compress image, then only you update into your uh, website, and that is going to help you on the side loading time but uh, as retention as just we talked about uh, for, uh, for your audience retention you should require a lot of images a lot of creativity a lot of uh, embedded videos or content where they can get engaged over there so when we are focusing all these things you may require these kind of sections so optimizing your images is very important for your on page uh, ranking then uh, you need to Broken links. Uh, the broken links are the links which actually once it was there on there, now it's not available. Something happened to that link. Maybe that page has moved or that page is no more exist, and you're linking back to that. And it's not only for internal and external. It's a both for internal and external. You need to focus on internal as well as external links, and you need to focus those to both section and make sure that it's not be broken link so you can find the uh, broken link from a lot of tools are there or you can go to your phone not for um, uh, search console and check out the, the phone not for errors for your site issues and for the external links you can always check uh, check my you have a lot of extensions you use to check that uh, uh, your uh, broken links are there or not so that's the uh, section you can go and fix in this particular section broken link then comes h tags uh, head tags are the very much important tags and uh, usually uh, one h1 uh, should be in one particular page but other than h1 there are s2 s3 s4 s5 s6 still s6 are there and these tags are very important uh, one comes like uh, we have a personal experience that one of the client has messed up with the h tags they uh, put it a uh, same uh, type of keywords in S2, S3, S4 and what happens like it got to punishment from Google and its ranking got uh, down. So what we have done like we just fixed that and the ranking came back. So that's a small thing but uh, you need to focus on that there should be a proper way of having this and you should have only one as one. Most of the WordPress sites have what happened the title WordPress title not the meta one the title normal title will going to be as an h1 and the uh, meta title will be like we use uh, yoast or you can use all uh, all pages your plugins so this comes as a thing so most of the time people use both are the same so the duplications also of the h1 as well as title is not going to support you in your ranking so you need to make sure that it should be both different different sections 
and uh, next is uh, missing all text on your images as well as spoken images you need to go and check that uh, your images can be recognized by google because google don't understand the image uh, they understand image by uh, what the all text you have given what attributes you have given to that particular image so you need to focus on that particular section also you need to have your uh, uh, images ready uh, with the uh, all text and try to focus all the keywords which you are looking for and with a combination of the what actually picture defined because the use of this particular section is when uh, a a uh, person uh, going through that section and his mobile or his system is not get loaded with the image he can read and understand that what kind of image you have put it out there so that's going to be helpful for them the reader the audience to uh, read it out then comes a uh, title tag issue as i uh, told you like uh, your title tag should not be copied so most of the thing was uh, when we do auditing what we have seen that uh, in your uh, search console also you can see that most of the page are having the same title tag so what happens like we are doing cannibalism within our content we are creating same type of titles for the different different pages google won't be able to understand which page he need to put on top and which page he need to put on down so you need to understand that you need to very focus on the uh, this particular section you should have all the page unique title unique description unique uh, focus point so that you will be able to get rank on that particular keyword easily so that is the next point uh, point number 11 and uh, point number 12 is uh, low text to html ratio so that means like uh, your coder has done more coding than your content how much content you are on your web page so you need to understand that your always the text ratio will be always higher than your coding html coding section so it may be happens like um, they have uh, messed up with your uh, coding that may be the one of the reason or the reason like your content your page is not having enough content so you need to focus on building or creating enough content or fixing those errors what your developer has done then uh, 13 and the last one is the temporary redirection so there are two types of redirection mostly uh, that is 3 not 1 that is the permanent and there is a 3 not 2 is the temporary one so what happens in temporary one google understand that your website is still is in temporary stage and the link the new link which is going to be for the some certain time so google wants be indexing those new pages on google and they always keeping the old one there so what happens in the long run that actually going to be uh, give you an a uh, bad impression or give you an a bad effect on it's not with the that much relevant because you have already moved so always make sure that if you have done some redirection it should be 301 it's a permanent redirection you should have permanent redirection so these are the some 13 common mistakes you should avoid on page so that your ranking gets boost so hope you like this video if you like this video don't forget to leave a comment share with your friends and if you have any question leave it below in comments and i will go and listen to that and we'll cover that in next video so thanks for watching have a nice day take care bye bye